Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. Today's video is going to be broken down into three parts. I'm going to give you a beard update, we're going to talk a little bit more about biotin, and then I want to share with you guys something new. It's something called a Himalayan salt lamp and it just might be a possible way to increase your beard growth. It's day 119 of my 365 day beard growing challenge. And as you can see, it's starting to look a lot bigger, especially since my last video. I'm going to show you a little bit from the left side first. As you can see here, it's uh, the densest side of my face. It's starting to come down quite nicely and fill in a little bit, especially down at the bottom here. The underneath part is always an area that I, I lack. I don't have a lot of hair down in here. But as I said in my last video as well, it started to cover up this area based on my chin growth region. It's kind of coming down and covering up all of those uh, spots that are kind of bald or hairless. And then on my right side here, you can see that's my weaker side of the face. It's uh, kind of the hair grows in a different direction. I've also noticed that it's kind of, you can see it noticeably that this side is actually a little bit higher on my cheek than this side. This one kind of starts a little bit lower and uh, therefore it kind of gives the illusion that it's not quite as full. But I think from most people's perspectives, it looks pretty good. But I think the area that I'm most proud of right now is my mustache. Yes, it's crazy and it's starting to get in the way, especially when I'm eating. Pretty much at any time of the day now, whenever I have food, I have to double check right afterwards because I always have stuff caught in it. I find that it's almost like a sponge whenever I have anything to drink. My mustache is coated and often will like retain water for quite a while and you'll get drips, uh, especially if you're eating things like hot dogs where there's mustard or ketchup in there, it's a write-off. It's gonna get embarrassing. Okay, so let's start talking about biotin. And yes, I know I've talked about biotin before in my other video, uh, it's right here if you haven't checked it out yet. And uh, I get a lot of questions about biotin and biotin side effects, so I figured I'd just kind of give you guys a little bit more of an idea of the uses of biotin and whether or not it will work. According to Dr. Axe, biotin, or vitamin B7, is a nutrient that helps us keep a young, attractive appearance, since it plays a major role in maintaining the health of our hair, nails, and skin. So does that mean you need to be taking a biotin supplement to help your hair grow faster and thicker? The answer is kind of yes and no. Biotin is readily found in foods such as organic meat, eggs, avocado, cauliflower, berries, fish, and mushrooms. So if you're regularly including these foods in your diet, then you are probably getting enough biotin and therefore you don't need a supplement. If you're worried that you might be consuming a little bit too much biotin in your diet, it might not be as serious as you think. Biotin is water soluble, which means that it travels through your bloodstream and any excess biotin will actually just be removed from your body through your urine. And levels that are considered to be toxic are rare. But of course, I'm not a doctor, so it would probably be advisable to check A with your doctor or do your own research online before you start to take a lot of the biotin supplements. On to phase three of this video. There might be another option that will help you increase your beard growth and your overall health passively. And what exactly is this passive hair growing technique that I speak of? I'm talking about a Himalayan salt lamp. This Himalayan salt lamp was kindly sent to me for free from Lavoit, a well-known high quality brand known for a wide range of healthcare products. And since it was sent to me for free, I'm going to just stick to the facts so that I can be as unbiased as possible and let you guys decide whether or not you think this might be uh, worth getting for yourself. After doing some research, I found that authentic Himalayan lamps are made of ancient crystal salts. They're pink due to minerals contained in the salt. A light bulb generates essential heat and light from the middle of the crystal. Okay, so how does this thing work and how can it help your hair? Essentially, there's water vapor all around us and it carries dust, pollen, dander, smoke, particles, viruses, and bacteria, which are all bad for our health and hair. Salt is hygroscopic, which means that water droplets are attracted to it. These pollutants stick to the lamp, and therefore they are removed from the air that we're breathing. Himalayan salt lamps also create and emit negative ions. According to CarryDawn.com, everyone's hair carries a positive electric charge that is caused by dryness. Over time, this charge increases. And as your hair becomes drier, more hair cuticles will open, causing ragged, unhealthy hair. Now apparently using a hair dryer will counteract these positive ions. It does seem a little strange to me that using a hair dryer, which is meant to dry your hair, will actually have a negative effect on the dryness because it emits negative ions. I don't know exactly how it works. 
What I do know though is that a lot of people rave about these things, so I might as well give it a shot. I'll definitely keep you guys updated as to whether or not I think this thing is working and actually helping my hair or whether or not I feel any kind of benefits, whether it's hair related or just health related. And if nothing else, it does look really cool and it seems to have a nice warm, calming effect. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you use one? Now if you'd like a chance to win your very own Himalayan salt lamp, make sure to hit that subscribe button because in the next little while I'm going to be having a contest where you guys can win a Himalayan salt lamp directly from Lavoie. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow my 365 day beard growing adventure. Thanks for watching.